yourself now if you do want to become an inspector. Because on the test, they do give you a test. They can show you pictures of fraud. And you have to, uh, you have to name them. If you know, you have to uh, say, all right, this is uh, overlap, this velocity, this is the kind. So there's different um, balls here. I mean, let me just uh, make this a little smaller if you want to take it on the bottom. So these lines are the lines are more like object lines and I was just to show you of course this is the inside of the let's say we cut the uh, the world in half like I showed you before a section piece of it all right you see some of that but this is the inside of the world, right? just to get it back. So this is where the overlap occurred here. That's the bottom. So that's the toe here. You know that that's the toe from your blueprint sketch, uh, right? And then it as far is as uh, excessive metal that extends over the toe of the wall that doesn't fuse to the surface. It's a base metal surface. It penetrated somewhat in the other wells that you did. It penetrated somewhat. But the last well, the top, this is what a lot of students fell on. Uh, they're doing their, uh, uh, they're doing their, their test with their grade. For, for your for the license. This is the single a bevel, which is 22 and a half degrees, uh, 22 and 22. So that's 45. 22 and a half, 22 and a half, that's 45. So your, um, your test for your DOT is this. What you're seeing is this lying on its side. This is in the flat position. Okay? So you have a groove, like so, okay, that you have to fill in. So you have a um, you have a group now. If you get caught doing the deal, they're gonna do it this Saturday. The DOT, I probably have to come in, but I don't know. But uh, here, that's your. Um, if you if you do this in the flat position, you get disqualified. Because you have to do it in the vertical position. It's supposed to be like this when you weld it, vertical, going up. So what you're seeing is in the flat position. So what you're seeing is this. Okay. So the, the overlapping, it was the last half. This is the top one. The top one here, what was it good? So when they sent it to Albany, and they x-rayed it, and put it through a radiograph, because that's what they do with this, they x this x-ray test, they found out that it was overlapping. So let's go over the causes of overlap. Or the cause of the cause of overlap, okay? Uh, okay. Same as two lowers, one, okay?
So here you're overdosing with the uh, with the rod, right? Like the young generation says, right? That you overdose, right? But um, I hear that a lot, right? Um, or it's ratchet or something, right? Like my daughters, I got two daughters, right? That are like one of like ratchet, right? If she's going to college or whatever. Um, I don't see them much, but one day when I just see them, I say that ratchet is a bad word to you say to somebody, right? But, um, I, but anyway, that's one thing. Um, one thing you need to, to know about um, this, this is one of the main ones, is that we're freezing the pool up. So let's go over, copy this up, the copy this up, down, and then we'll uh, set up, uh, copy this up. Alright, so, uh, elaborate a little bit on this is the important that you understand this. So people that used to get shot on a Friday was an important lesson. Um, and I got other things I gotta give you, but I'm gonna give it to you later on. Like even the last day I'm gonna give you the notes because you know, even though uh, so I give you everything that I give every other class, so you have the same thing. Uh, now if a if a product on in the supermarket has been discontinued is that product still good? Is it question I'm asking? No. No. No? So it's been discontinued. A box of cereal has been discontinued from uh, from selling. That product is selling. It's not longer selling, but it's still consumable. Can you still eat it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's just not selling. It's not a, they're just not they're making not, it anymore. They're not making it no more, or they're not selling it because they're not making a profit out of it, so they stopped making it. And they, so now it's been discontinued. But, because I used to work in the supermarket a long time ago, I used to be a stock boy, and, and I used to go to the basement, and I used to get free food. I used to eat the, the food in the basement, but they used to, like, take everything that was discontinued. I used to open up the cans, and have my own can opener, and I used to be eating it there, you know? So it's not, not to me. Me, I grew up, I grew up poor, you know, like poor middle class or whatever, poor, right? And I'm still poor to this day, right? So it's like there's only poor and rich now. But um, I was a poor guy, um, like in the 2000, when the recession happened, like 2010, around that area, um, they said there was a recession, but I didn't know what they were talking about, because I've been in a, in a recession all my life. So I was like, in a recession, what are you talking about recession? I've been, in a, I've, been, I've been in a recession all my life, so I don't know what you're talking about. So to the, to the rich person, a recession is, you know, they lost millions or whatever, right? But to the, it's like, it's, it's normal to the poor person, right? But, um, and also I was so poor that I was, um, I had a telephone. It's just humor though. But, about this word, changes in, in volume and weight, okay? So you're gonna have a world that's, Overly convex, or you can have it that's concave, or you can have it which is slightly convex, which I want this one here. So, I don't know how to rock, because what it is is that a, a, a well that's overly convex, when they x-ray it, it has shallow penetration, meaning that it's just not a lot of penetration. So if you have a, a piece of metal, and you penetrate it to the two pieces of metal, shallow penetration, that's shallow penetration. Okay? That's shallow penetration. Okay? Deep penetration will be more like a little bit more than, than this area. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you're going into the metal. So now it's stronger without blowing a hole through the metal. But you don't need 100% penetration into the metal. But you need to you need to penetrate into the metal at least 70%. At least 70 you know what I mean? So when you go to stick welding, there's some, some electrodes that they dig into the metal a little bit more. Some of them are medium penetration, some of them are 
a high penetration, you know? That's the one more like shallow penetration, like uh, like the 7024 rod is for like sheet metal, you can do sheet metal, and the 6013 is like for sheet metal, for thin, thin stuff. So let's say you're doing something that's really thin, and you wanted to do it with stick work, because that for that, you would use it more like in the 6013, 7024 rod. But they're like medium penetration rods, and they usually are uh, used in the uh, in the flat and horizontal position, being that if the, the two, the second to last number is position, meaning 7024, uh, flat and horizontal position. But if you don't remember these things, you just grab any round if you want, whatever, mess up the product. What the problem with that is, it's just going to be disgruntled people around, you know, and especially for people that pay money for these products, you know. They're, they're, um, they're trusting in you as a good welder to take care of the, the, you know, the issue and weld it together without damaging the metal. So you don't want to destroy the integrity of the metal, okay? By overheating it, over stressing it, or burn through, okay? okay? So that's the difference. So there's a discontinuity. All right, but these uh, flaws can still be put into service. They still need standing. Just keep that in mind. Okay? So what, uh, there's two types of flaws. Let's look at that. One is a discontinuity, and the other one is a defective well, Write it down. A defective well, a defective
So their well-being, when they inspect your ground, they look for discontinuities. Can you let Aaron in? Yeah, Aaron. Okay. Aaron, what happened to him? What did he tell you? Where was he? Don't snitch. Don't snitch. <laughs> he was taking a test and then he got left up. He was taking a test, but his guy was following him. I don't know what test he was taking. Did he hand it in? Uh, let him in. Uh, let, me have a, let me have a word with him. I don't know. Let me see. Let me interrogate him.
like concrete from the between the bricks and then they, they refill it. That's an art, that's also an art. I like art stores that I also come to they, they know exactly how much to put into the thing. <laughs> right? Like put it between the little crevices, right? Like, that could be hard, right? But it's not that easy. You can see something and say, like, oh, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? But if you see it in real life, you're like, no. No, that person is actually still doing what they do, you know? It's the same thing with welding. People think, oh, I welded it, I welded it, I did that. You know? But they was is really in it, you know? For years and years and years. If you're in it for the right reason, you're gonna make, you can make a lot of money. But like I said before, I never seen an armored truck in back of a hearse. So, whenever you get some money, you spend it. Enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? you have it, you know? These are called multi-pass, but they, you know, they, notice that they're, they're on top of each other. They're overlapping. So they will be going all the way. It could be, it does a little crooked, but it's all right, right? So you see here? So when you run the last pass, you can run like seven of them or six, all depending on the size and width of your, of what you choose. But um, they'll teach you six rooms in the next class. So usually it's seven of them, six or seven, five, sometimes, sometimes it's six. It all depends on the width of your feet, like I said. It'll be going all the way across, you know? And so as soon as you finish the well, it might take you an hour, to finish the world when you think it does, because you're filling in a big group. You're filling in a gap, but you're filling in like this. You're going from the bottom to the top. You're going uphill. So you're moving. You're moving the liquid up against gravity. So let's put that down. Let's put that the causes. Um, we still got more stories to go, but let's put that the cause. Flame is too low. Is the main one. Is this the right flame, Mr. Diaz? It's still already three weeks. Yes, it's the right flame. But you still gotta go a little slower if it's a lower flame. Because if it's a lower flame, you do not go fast. If you overrun the pool, you're gonna be dipping to unmelted metal. Because you're not visually reading the pool. The pool is not there, but you're looking somewhere else. I know, I know you've been there, but we're just like wandering. I hope this is right. I hope so. I need to pass the class, you know? Hopefully it comes out good. Like a miracle. You're like, we're hoping on a miracle, but there's no luck in welding. There is no luck here. You gotta, you gotta, uh, right, refine your skills every day with welding. Don't ever get complacent. Grandiose. Grandiosity is no good. Oh, I know it all. You never know it all. I don't care what, 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 what you know. If you're a doctor, you still, you still have some, some flaws. Everybody's got flaws. I've had people that are very smart can't change a light bulb. Very smart, they can't change the tires. Right, they can't yeah, change they the light bulb. They don't have very right. intelligent exactly. they don't have common sense. Or they don't have common sense. Exactly. They don't have right common sense. Right, right, exactly. And they need, and not, it's not to judge them, but I, I've seen them. Very smart and math and, 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 and you know intellectual, but that's their height. Yeah, I can go on that line, and I don't believe them. I'm like, wow, you know, I have a gift. I see it every day. I don't judge them. I try to help them. That's why we're here. You want me to change your life world? I'll change it for you. How much you want for that? Nothing is free. They're like shot. You sure? Yeah, don't worry about it. Maybe a little dinner sometime, maybe, you know. <laughs> right? Maybe a little more out there, well, you know, whatever, you know, it don't matter. I don't need a little caviar. to charge you for something that's not very right, I can keep it free. But nowadays, we want to charge people for jump a battery. I see people on the street, and they ask, how much you want? You're, you're going to be a booster or not? It's the street. I might need your help one day, maybe one day I'm getting jumped, and I need your love. It's just happening that you're there at that time. All of a sudden, wow, you're there, right? You're there at that time. And I'm like, yeah, you were going to help me. I don't want to be a car. Right? You never know. I think hate is just, it's, it's all planned out, you know? It's all we don't know. Crazy. <laughs> I had a customer who 
yeah. like 20 years ago one dude bought him a drink and then like fast forward 20 years they were at my bar at the same time saw each other and the dude was rich now before he was wow. poor and because he bought him a beer he gave him like two thousand dollars and took him to the on him wow. i was like that was wow. like the most absurd thing but it was because of his kindness wow like yeah. shit that really yeah. happens it's yeah. really it's really cool yeah so if you ever see the joker yeah. if you ever see the joker the movie that movie was so good yeah, I'm not gonna tell you the scene, but it was so good, and it touched me, you know? Um, the one with Joaquin Phoenix? Yeah, yeah, he's such a good actor, you know, and I was like, this guy is so good, you know? And his brother also was good, too. Uh, yeah, so, I'm going to a channel, let's go over that, let's just draw the picture over here so you can see it. Alright, let's go over here, I know you can see this side, too. I don't have to take the camera, so, I'm going to a channel, so let's go, let's go with that. So let's go with the portrait. I'm just gonna draw it big. I don't know why I'm drawing so big, but it's that right. I don't have the right to it. But anyway, enjoy drawing. <laughs> I'm gonna draw it right. So I enjoy drawing. So there, watch this portrait channel. Right, I used to uh, do graffiti. I oh, think that's what it is. When I was younger, I love marker. Like you know, you know. What was your time? This, at the end. That's the candy that you're looking for. We don't need this. That's for torch. Right here, um, for torch angle. Period. That means that you're disregarding the bottom. Why? Because you're staying 70% of your heat is on the top and 30% of your heat is on the bottom. It's supposed to be backwards, it's supposed to be the reverse of that. 30% on the top. Seventy on the bottom. Thirty on the top. But we do it right because our brains, right? We see with our brains. We don't see with really with our eyes. We see basically what we perceive, right? We just see an image, but we actually like see, you know, the neurons, right? The cells, right? Right? The transmitting cells are like saying, oh, that's a cat, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a cat, it's a lion. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not a cat, but we see, we can see, you know, wherever we were living, that's what we see. We see like lions from many times that, like, oh, there's, like, there's some cats around where I used to live. Like, you know, like, what is that? But, uh, and I respect home coaches because I learned from them. I, I, I was like, wow. They tell me stories of, like, you know, their survival skills in, in, in Africa. And, and I'm like, wow. You know? That is incredible. So, remember that. Okay, let's go to break and then uh, we'll continue on. Alright, at uh, 11 10, we'll, we'll, we'll continue on.